The Software Development Life Cycle, SDLC, is a comprehensive framework that outlines the process for developing software systems. It ensures that all steps in software creation are well-defined, organized, and methodically executed. Below is a detailed explanation of the SDLC phases, along with common models that organizations may follow. 1. Planning Objective The goal of the planning phase is to determine the project's scope and objectives, assess its feasibility, and establish a plan for executing the project. Activities Project Initiation Identify the need for new software or enhancements to existing software. Feasibility Study Analyze technical, economic, and operational feasibility to determine whether the project should proceed. Resource Allocation Identify the required resources, such as personnel, tools, and budget. Risk Management Identify potential risks and develop strategies for mitigating them. Project Schedule Develop a detailed timeline for the project, including milestones and deadlines. 2. Requirements Analysis Objective. Gather, document, and analyze the specific requirements of the software. This phase ensures that the software meets user expectations and business needs. Activities. Requirements gathering. Collect information from stakeholders through interviews, surveys, and observation. Requirements documentation. Create detailed documentation, such as Software Requirement Specifications, SRS, that outlines the functional and non-functional requirements. Requirements validation. Review the requirements with stakeholders to ensure they accurately reflect their needs. Requirements prioritization. Determine which requirements are essential and which are optional. 3. Design. Objective. Translate the requirements into a blueprint for the software, including architecture, components, interfaces, and data. Activities. System design. Define the overall architecture of the system, including hardware and software components, and their interactions. Detailed design. Specify the design of each system component, including data structures, algorithms, user interfaces, and database schemas. Design documentation. Create design documents, such as system architecture diagrams and interface designs. Design review. Conduct reviews to ensure the design meets requirements and adheres to best practices. 4. Implementation, coding slash development. Objective, convert the design into actual code that can be executed on a computer. Activities, coding, write the code for the software using appropriate programming languages and tools. Code review, review the code for quality, consistency, and adherence to coding standards. Unit testing. Test individual units or components of the software to ensure they function correctly. Version control. Manage different versions of the code base using version control systems like Git. 5. Testing. Objective. Validate that the software works as intended and is free of defects. Activities. Test planning. Develop a test plan that outlines the testing strategy, objectives, resources, and schedule. Test case development. Create test cases based on the requirements and design documents. Test execution. Execute the test cases and document the results. Defect reporting and tracking. Identify, report, and track defects or bugs found during testing. Regression testing. Retest the software after fixes have been applied to ensure that no new issues have been introduced. 6. Deployment. Objective. Make the software available for use in the production environment. Activities. Deployment planning. Develop a plan for deploying the software, including release schedules, environment setup, and rollback procedures. Environment setup. Prepare the production environment, including hardware, software, and network configurations. Release management. Manage the process of releasing the software to the users, including versioning and distribution. User training. Provide training and support to users to help them effectively use the new software. Go live. Officially launch the software in the production environment. 7. Maintenance. Objective. 
provide ongoing support and make updates or enhancements to the software after it is deployed. Activities. Bug fixes. Address any issues or defects that arise after deployment. Enhancements. Add new features or improve existing ones based on user feedback or evolving business needs. Performance monitoring. Monitor the software's performance to ensure it meets expected levels of reliability and efficiency. Software updates. Implement updates to keep the software current with the latest technologies and security patches. End-of-life management. Plan for the eventual retirement of the software when it is no longer needed or replaced by newer systems.